Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy Consultant. So today what I have for you is a little bit of a sneak peek of life in the day of the Scentsy Consultant over here, because I'm working on mailing things out. But mostly, I'm hopping on because we just got the BBMB list for July of 2024. There are some really wonderful scents here. I don't even know all of them. I'm just going to kind of go over them quickly. I'm a little bit disappointed because it seems like for the first time in a very long time, they did a clean cut of only spring summer scents and I really wanted gingerbread hugs back and it was in the top 25, but it is not here. But anyway, let's get started with what we have. The votes were tallied at 304,082. So you guys definitely participated heartily. And there is a good list here of wonderful things, some of which I'm very excited are returning. We have Apple Crush, Berry's Jubilee, Berry Bubble Blue, Blackberry Meringue, Breakfast Blend, Buzzworthy, Coconut Citrus Parfait, Coconut Daiquiri, Dolce de Leche, Farmer's Market, Happy Go Lucky, Highway Run, Juicy Peach, Lemon Verbena, Lime and Sugar Cane, Red Delicious, Reggae Sunset, Sea Salt Mist, Sea Sun and Fun, and Surfer Chick. And then as usual, as of the last two rounds of this, the CEO weighs in and gives five extras. So we've got Dark Harbor, Lemon Lavender, Sandalwood and Cranberries, Shaka, and Wild Watermelon. And then a new announcement, there will be five cents, the five that the CEO picked, as pods, which is a brand new idea for Bring Back My Bar. So this is the first time that we've had scents that will be Bring Back My Scent, but in pods. So Dark Harbor, Happy Go Lucky, Lemon Verbena, Shaka, and Wild Watermelon will, and actually, yeah, that's not all the ones that are, um, that are the CEOs, I'm sorry. Dark Harbor, Happy Go Lucky, Lemon Verbena, Shaka, and Wild Watermelon. Those will be available in pods as well for the month of July. So let's go back and talk about the actual scents a little bit. Well, I am just about done over here with the melting of some of my samples. I have all of the new releases and I have my handy dandy little make, make um, samples molds here and all of my mailers. Usually I like to put in the scent and warmer of the month things and stickers and all that fun stuff. And depending on the size of your outfit, so to speak, I'm not a director. I'm not super high up the food chain. So I have kind of a cottage industry style when I'm dealing with mailing things out to my regulars and my faithful customers. But there are some Scentsy ladies where I'm pretty sure that they would have an entire room and special printed out everything and it's all mechanized, but I'm still doing it old school and handwriting things. So let's go back to dealing with our uh, list here. Apple Crush. This one I believe was a children's type scent and I almost said children's ministry because I've been in church my whole life but it was a kid's scent at one point in a nice happy collection and it's a really crisp green clean apple with a little bit of floral and it's good. Berry's Jubilee. I've had that before as a really ancient bar in somebody's garage sale. I did not like it. To me it was just kind of a watered down berry smell. I hope that it's better fresh. Berry Bubble Blue. I have no idea what that is. I think it's going to be a children's candy type scent and it'll probably have some sort of blue or blue raspberry or blueberry kind of uh, undertone. Then we've got blackberry meringue. This is gorgeous. So this is like a nice crispy confectionery meringue married to blackberries and sweet kind of floralish things. And then we have uh, breakfast blend, which is the other coffee that always gets voted back. I have heard that breakfast blend has sort of a powder note in it. So I think I'm going to hold on to perk me up until I can test this and see which one I'm going to keep in my club. I want to keep one and perk me up so far has been a medium level performer for me. That was from a couple rounds ago, bring back my bar and it's still in my club because it's not too bad for a scentsy coffee smell. Buzzworthy. This one has a cult following. It's incredibly strong. It's definitely got like honey and almond notes and it'll knock you over. But if you're in the mood, it's really good in the springtime. That was a scent of the month. Coconut citrus parfait. I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds delicious. Coconut daiquiri. I'm really excited about this. This was a summer collection scent a few years ago. It has some banana. It's got some coconut. It has sort of a limey daiquiri or almost margarita um, blend to it. It is so nice. It's a really good summer staple. I'm going to be putting that one in my club, I think. Dulce de Leche. I'm very excited about that. That's just a nice smooth, creamy caramel. Then we've got Farmer's Market. That's a really nice green scent with some sort of floral and maybe even a little bit of a fruity vegetable undertone, but it's really good. Happy Go Lucky. I have no idea, but it sounds like it's probably one of those light, sweet bedroom scents. Then we've got Highway Run. This is excellent. This is back when they did a lot more manly smells. More of the time, there was like a men's section in the catalog and Shaka is farther down on the list. And that's another 
leather. That one's more colony. The highway run is more fresh masculine smell. Then we've got Juicy Peach. I'm assuming it's self-explanatory. I've never smelled that. We have Lemon Verbena. This is one of my and my husband's favorite fresh smells. I may even be clubbing that. That is so clean and crisp and it's kind of like squeeze the day but it's much more herbal and is so nice. Then we've got Red Delicious. Again, I'm assuming it's self-explanatory. I haven't smelled that. We've got Reggae Sunset. I haven't smelled this, but I'm very excited to because I know that people have been trying to get that voted back for years and everybody says it's amazing. Then we have Sea Salt Mist. That is a very nice light scent for summer. If you're missing things like your... Um, your Atlantic air and some of the older style of beach salt and mist and air and clean and all that. I think you might enjoy your sea salt mist. Sea, sun, and fun. I always call this the happy children with sandcastles and suntan lotion smell. This is so good, you guys. It's super strong and it is wonderful. It's like totally old school nostalgia day at the beach. Then you've got surfer chick. I have no idea what that's like, but I've heard good things about that. Then the ones that the CEO picked are dark harbor, lemon lavender, sandalwood and cranberry, shaka, and wild watermelon. I already said shaka is going to be a nice, I think, pretty crisp masculine smell. Dark Harbor is so good. There was a catalog section at one point where it was all sort of an exotic theme. There was Spice Bazaar, there was Taj Mahal, there was Dark Harbor. They all went together. So I think this is kind of a warm, rich, watery, woody cologne smell. And I believe that it's a really good one. Lemon Lavender, I'm assuming that that's straightforward, but we've had some lavender things that have hidden notes in it recently. Sandalwood and Cranberries, I'm the most excited about this as far as sort of a, a one I've never even smelled. I am assuming it will be warm and fruity. And then we've got the Shaka and the Wild Watermelon, which is just another one of those. Why do you guys always vote back all these watermelon scents every single time we have a summer bring back my bar? But it is what it is, and I know people love it. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. I'm very excited about some of what's here. And then just to kind of put a bug in your ear, if Gingerbread Hugs comes back to vote for in January, I'd be a very happy lady because I really wanted to see that on this list just for myself. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I hope that this was enjoyable. And I'm going to get back to making samples so that I can get these out to my regulars. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.